Welcome to Joe at the Movies. The medium of film is host to some of the most impressive and expressive displays of human emotion that can be found in any form of art, and it's also host to Haunted Mansion. And you know what? That's okay. If you're looking to be scared or moved in any way and you're over the age of 10, Haunted Mansion shouldn't be on your radar in the first place. It's more of a fun house than a haunted house in that regard. The film is so shallow and light that it almost flies away. And it would if it wasn't for the rock solid cast holding it close enough to earth for it to be enjoyable. I'll never not enjoy a Lakeith Stanfield performance and everyone else is perfect in their respective roles. Besides that, there's nothing extraordinary about the movie, but I'm okay with that. It's a funny and casually engaging film, rarely creative and never groundbreaking, but at the same time, not overly predictable. Its qualities are defined just enough for the movie to be a thoroughly fun ride, and just enough to keep your own personal demons at bay for a couple of hours. My one real complaint, and I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but this should have been a slim 90 minutes instead of over two hours. Hate to be that guy, but the artistic vision of the Haunted Mansion remake should have been veined back a little bit for the viewer's sake. The movie keeps coming up with problems to solve well into where the climax should be, but that's all I've really got to say about it. It's a silly kids movie that isn't ashamed of being a silly kids movie. It's not for everyone, but it's nice to see a movie that is okay with just being fun, even if it's sort of insignificant. Thumbs up.